Hello and welcome to another mini tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to talk about and show you how to process forms and catch any spam without using a CAPTCHA. Because um, we all know everyone hates using CAPTCHA. They're unreadable most of the time and they're just annoying. Um, so let's get started. What I have set up here is a basic HTML form with labels, inputs, and a text area. A submit button. Um, nothing major or fun about that. Um, basically got name, email, and message. Um, how do we turn this into a spam catching form? It's actually quite straightforward. What we need to do is put in another field and we're going to call this one bad bot. What this field is going to do when spam bots come along, it's going to be filled in by spam bots. It won't be visible on the form in the end, but for the tutorial I'm going to leave it there until the end. So if we fill in this field and this field and this field, the form is supposed to send without any problems. If this field is filled in, we want to tell the form, don't send it, let's bring it to another page and tell the spammer we don't want them. You know, we, don't, we don't like spam, we hate spam. So what we need to do there is we need to process the form through our PHP code, which will be placed at the top of the page, above everything here. So what this basically says is, now keep in mind actually this is a PHP page not a basic HTML. Um, if bad bot, so if our bad bot field is filled in and is not empty, we run this header location sorry.php. Now you can put any page in there, you can have go away dot html or no spam or whatever you want you can call that page and put whatever you want into that page for me I'm calling it sorry because sorry guys don't want to spam so if that's filled in bring them to the sorry page no processing just bring them straight to the sorry page we don't want to spam else if post full name is filled in and is not empty. Basically, if post is if the full name field is not empty, it means the form has been filled in. So basically, if this is empty and this is not, we'll process the form through our form processing script. I'll be calling mine in process.php. I'll just include that file which all these variables will be sent to and you will be able to post your form from your website or wherever you have it. So let's test that out. Full name. Ah, www. That's my, name. That's my name. Email address. No email at my site dot com. Message. Test message. We send that and that's gone. Now what if we fill in it all again? WWW me. No email at my site.com message. Test message. Now let's fill out the anti-spam part of the form. I am spam. And we click send. Okay, I forgot to save this. Let's try that again. I am spam. And we'll send you off. Oh dear, you reached this page because you tried to spam us. We don't like spammers very much. No, we don't. And that's what happens when someone tries to spam you. The form does not get processed 
and it basically just sends them off to another page. I mean, you can do anything you want there. You can say, if that spam bot field is not empty, you can have um, an error message pop up or whatever you want. Um, but how do we keep this from anyone seeing it? Well, we do something quite simple. We use a little bit of CSS. So we style, display, sorry, display none. That's it. Let's go back to our form. And that's gone. So basically, your users can fill the form in. But if a spam bot tries, it's going to automatically fill in this field. 99 out of 100 times that field will get filled in. And you won't receive any spam in your inbox. That's pretty much it.